welcome in this video we will learn how to install wordpress version 4.4 on your local development computer the steps are exactly similar for installing it on your live server with only one difference is you will have to upload the files live to your server if you already have your local development server installed and running on your local computer then you are ready to go we can check if we already have bitnami installed using by typing http localhost in the address bar and we can see this bitnami default welcome page we can also access applications like php my admin from this page and we can log in to our database server using default username root and password set at the time of bitnami installation if you still have not installed the local development server then check the link in the description for my previous video tutorial where i have shown how you can install bitnami web server on your local computer i assume you are running a local development server and ready to install wordpress so let's get started first thing first let's visit official wordpress website wordpress.org here we will download the latest release of wordpress that is wordpress version 4.4 which is scheduled to release on december 8 that is in next 2 days so at the moment there is no download link for the new 4.4 version on download page so we will have to download the wordpress 4.4 release candidate from release candidate page but after 8 december you will be able to download the wordpress from this download page so i will go ahead and download the wordpress 4.4 release candidate zip package from this link i will save the file to my computer So here I have downloaded the zip file of the WordPress and I will move the file to my desktop where I will extract the file using winzip If you have a different file compression software installed you can use it to unzip the file i will delete this extract zip file so we have here extracted wordpress zip wordpress files ready to install on our local computer now let's create a new database for our wordpress installation I will close these links and open Bitnami PHP my admin page and I already have logged in to my database server under databases I will create a new database named 
wordpress you can name whatever you like here in my case i i'll name it as wordpress and create so we have the new database wordpress created for our new wordpress installation now i will move the entire wordpress folder to c drive under bitnami apache 2 and htdocs folder if you have installed bitnami under a different location make sure you copy the folder to htdocs folder once i successfully moved the wordpress folder i can access now i can access the wordpress directory on my local server using address http localhost wordpress and wordpress automatically redirected me to a setup page i will choose my language as english if you want to install wordpress with a different language you can choose the appropriate language from the given list i will select english and continue here wordpress gives the message welcome to wordpress before getting started we need some information like database information and the information required for the installation is database name database username password and database host if you want prefix you can you can choose the prefix of your own choice as we already created the database for our new installation and we know the host is localhost and username is default root and the password we set at the time of installation so i will click let's go button and start with the installation so here by default wordpress choose the name database name as wordpress if you created a different database name here you can enter the different data your own database name here since i already named it wordpress and the default is wordpress i'll keep it as it is for username i will enter root and the password in my case i set while installation of bitnami i will enter my pass password in your case you may have choose a different password for your database server so make sure you enter correct password for database host local host is fine if you are installing on live server most of the live server have the default host name as local host but some of them use a different host name make sure you make sure you uh, check the uh, name and host name and enter appropriate name here for table prefix i will keep the wp underscore if you want to change you can change it from here i will go ahead and click submit wordpress will create all necessary database tables and files and now i'll click the run the install button and this is the final step to enter site title i will enter php sort and username same for password as i am installing this wordpress installation on my local computer i am okay to enter 
a weak password. But if you are installing the WordPress live on your development server, make sure you choose a very strong password. I will click. I will check the box to confirm use of weak password. In email, type the email you want to use for admin. I will enter my own. If you click this discourage search engine from indexing this site, search engine won't index your website. If you are installing the WordPress on localhost, you don't need to worry about search engine visibility. But if you are installing the WordPress on live server, make sure you uncheck this box and let search engine crawl your website so that your website is indexed in Google and other major search engines. I will go ahead and click install WordPress. And it's done. Success. WordPress has been installed. So here it gave me the confirmation of username. My choose username and the password I have chosen. So I will log in to my admin panel using my username and password. And here I have logged in in inside WordPress 4.4. I'll open a new tab. Okay. I'll up open a new tab and you can see the WordPress front end website. Here in WordPress 4.4 they have included a couple of new features like the latest theme is the default 26 uh, sorry 2016 theme which is a default theme for WordPress 4.4 they have also available 2015 and 2014 themes but the default in the new case is 2016. So this is 2016 at front end. All other options are somewhat similar and familiar if you are using already using WordPress. I will create a test post to see the new features like they have included a responsive image feature so I'll create a test test post and I will download a new image let's download it from WordPress site I will save this image to my desktop and you can see it is a bigger image so I will I will include this image in my post and for size I will keep it full size and publish So here I have new post with the image. So the new feature is WordPress will automatically deliver the more appropriate image 
to use depending upon a variety of condition like screen size, viewport size and screen resolution. So now I have full screen. So this you can see the image is bigger. So as if I resize my browser, you can see the image size also decreases and automatically get adjusted depending upon the screen. So if you visit the, this uh, website from your tablet, tablet computer or mobile device, the image will automatically get resized and it will look better on your device. Also the WordPress 4.4 have new features where WordPress can now embed rich content from nearly all sites that support the OEmbed standard. Now you can even Im embed previews of posts from other WordPress sites by pasting the URLs. Also there have been a lot of changes for developers to play with as well like improved REST API, term metadata, title output and comments. The most popular WP title is now deprecated. The new version of WordPress is better and improved and we can say WordPress has given us a very sweet Christmas and New Year gift. So in this video we see how to install WordPress 4.4 on your local computer. If you have any question feel free to ask me in the comment section. Thank you.